In this video, we're going over how to animate particles along a path inside of After Effects. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is create a new null object that we're gonna animate our path on. And then using the pen tool, we'll draw a path in a way that seems kind of cool with maybe some loops and a few bounces off the edges of the frame. And then we'll bring up the mask path property by hitting M on the keyboard. And let's go ahead and copy that by hitting control C on the keyboard. And then we'll hit P on the keyboard to bring up the null position. And with the position selected, we'll hit control V to paste the mask path to the position. And then we'll delete the mask that we made. And then we'll grab the last keyframe and we'll click and drag it outward to adjust the timing of the animation. And now all those position properties from the mask are now applied to the position of the null. And also real quick, make sure to join our Patreon to get a ton of perks, including a private VFX masterminds chat where you can talk to other VFX artists. Link in the description below. Then once that's all set, we'll create a new solid and we'll add a particle systems effect. Then if we open up the producer tab and we go to position, we can use the pick whip to parent it to the position of the null object. And now our particles are following the path that we made. Then we can go in and adjust different parameters of the particle system, such as the birth rate, the longevity, the physics animation and properties like velocity and gravity, the particle types such as faded sphere, the size variations, and the color. This will all be determined by your own creative choices. This is just a quick demonstration to show you how to actually animate the particles along a path. Once we have a look that we kind of like, we can add even more particle detail by duplicating the layer and adjusting those particle parameters to add some variation. Then we can turn on motion blur for both particle layers to add a touch of realism. If at any point you decide that you don't like the path that you drew, all you have to do is delete the position keyframes on the null, draw a new path, copy and paste from the mask path properties to the position, and that's it. Since we parented the producer position to the null object, once we change our null position to the new mask path, the producer positions of the particle should automatically change with it. Then to spice things up, you can add things like an optical flare by parenting the position to the null to make a bright tip. And you can add other effects on top to add even more interesting looks like turbulent displace and vector blur. And the possibilities are really endless once you have your base animation created. 